taking the time to whip up a quick loaf of bread. We're going to go visit with some family this evening. And one of my family members really loves jalapeno cheddar bread. So I'm going to whip up a loaf of bread for that family member. If you're making anything with jalapenos, like I'm making the jalapeno cheddar bread, put on some gloves. You will thank yourself later. When I was younger, thought I was, I don't know, immune to these things. Yeah, I didn't wear gloves. It hurt like heck. So the older you get, the wiser you get. Put on some gloves before you slice up a jalapeno. This particular family member really likes hot stuff. Like, we're talking hot. So I'm not deveining or de-seeding this jalapeno. I'm just putting it in as it is. bits and then I'll put it in with the bread or the dough Sliced up, and I'll work it into my bread dough. This bread recipe is the super simple, basic white bread recipe that I've shared with you guys. That's all it is. It's just that recipe. And then I add a couple goodies to it. I add the jalapenos, and I add cheddar to it. bit wet so I'm going to add a little more flour to it. You see the stick of butter hanging out right there. I was making this batch here and I remembered if I make one, I better make one to have here at home because Henry, my oldest, and my husband Patrick really love this kind of bread so I mean just wouldn't be fair if I didn't make one for them to have. Now if I know I have a family member that has an allergy to um, the latex or anything like that, I would not wear these. I would um, stir this up with the spoon. But this family member is not allergic and the family member that is, isn't here, so I'm safe to wear my gloves, which makes it faster when I'm whipping up this recipe than trying to work it with this big spoon. Okay, that'll do. I'm going to let this rise for an hour, then I'll work it some more, put it in a bread pan, let it rise for another hour, and then get it in to bake. Alright, jalapeno cheddar bread dough is on its second rise. So I just got done with its first rise, punched it down, worked it a little bit, put it in the bread pans, and now it's going to rise for about an hour until it's doubled in size and then it's going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for approximately uh, this recipe with the jalapenos added takes about 35 to 45 minutes uh, the, usually it's a 25 30 minute bread but this one takes a bit longer because of the moisture in the jalapenos well that airplane is carrying my grandpa who's flying it and most likely either my brother and his wife and my sister or just my sister but anyway they're in Idaho one's from Michigan and the other's from Pennsylvania well after making those uh, two loaves of bread for one for a family member and then one for our family those two loaves of jalapeno cheddar 
bread today. They're actually just about ready to go in the oven. I was like, man, I would love to have some, but flour does not agree with me. I get some issues. My tongue gets what's called ge um, geographic tongue, I think is what it's called. I have issues and it just, I get this terrible brain fog. And then even my anxiety just shoots through the roof if I have certain things and flour products and flour is one of those things. So I decided to figure out how to make my own version of a jalapeno cheese bread using coconut flour, almond flour. I don't have any more cheddar cheese because I use that for the guys. So I'm going to use some mozzarella cheese, uh, honey instead of sugar, baking soda and baking powder to help the bread rise. It'll have butter in it, salt, eggs, and then the milk and the lemon juice back there, I'm going to combine them to make buttermilk. So the goal is hopefully I will make a fast, well, so it, like it doesn't rise like a yeast bread, but it'll be like one of those quick rising breads, kind of like banana bread, um, but with jalapeno and cheese. So fingers crossed this works. So I'm trying to film this for all of you, not just for the daily vlog, but on my big camera, I was trying to film this so we could have a master video on doing the gluten-free jalapeno cheese bread. But of course, the big camera's battery died, so I'm kind of like in a holding pattern. <laughs> it never fails. I should have checked the battery. I thought it was full. That's what I get. I, I checked the memory card. I made sure that was good to go. <laughs> it's always something. Ooh, look it. Okay, so they've been in there for 35 minutes. Goodness. Okay, I'm going to have to put the camera down. This is a two-handed job. So I'm pretty sure this is what's called overachieving. <laughs> Look at that goofy bread. Two loaves of jalapeno cheddar. We're going to see if they're actually done. So even though it sounds hollow, because of the moisture with the jalapenos on this loaf, see I'm not convinced. There's a lot of moisture in these from the cheese, and that one went in too soft. Yeah. See the doughiness? So we're going to give these guys a few more minutes. And I know this guy can't possibly be done. Get a different knife and check that one. <clears throat> huh. I don't know. I think I'll stick it in for five minutes more just to be on the safe side. We'll see. All right. I put them in for six extra minutes. Let's see how they look. Well, definitely more golden. All right. Time to pull them out and see. All right, we're gonna check these guys again. Looks good. It's a little bit soft feeling, but I don't have any signs of dough. Okay, I'm going to call those two done. So all I got to do now real quick is just put some butter on top of them to keep the crust soft and let them cool. So one of the things I do makes my bread so tasty. Keeps the crust from being really hard and gunky. Anyway, I just rub some butter on it. You could also use olive oil. I've done that. Uh, I've used coconut oil. And I've used avocado oil. The favorite of everybody in the house is butter. They like the flavor of it. And I have to agree. I really like the flavor. The butter 
gives to the bread. There we go. Now just got to let them cool off and then they'll be good to go. Well, it's fresh out of the oven. It's not quite as impressive as the regular loaves of bread, but I'll take it. It doesn't have regular flour in it. It'll get me back on my clean eating, gluten-free diet that keeps me from having such terrible foggy brain and keep my anxiety under check, you know, all that fun, wonderful stuff of being a person, I guess. I don't know. So I'm excited to try it. I'm going to let it cool off. And after it's cooled a bit, I am going to cut it. I'm excited to try it. And now I'm actually kind of wondering if I shouldn't have put, um, lined this with parchment paper when I baked it because some gluten-free things like to stick. I did oil it, so we'll see. We'll see if it's stuck. <laughs> I'll have jalapeno cheese crumble. Or if it actually works, I could probably put it in the fridge later and it'll help pull separate from the side. I'm excited to try it. Henry's tinkering around at his forge again today. He really likes bending and heating metal, seeing what he can create. He's a pretty active, creative kid. It always amazes me what he comes up with. Well, we were trying to sneak in, but the goats spotted him. <laughs> no, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Oh, we're going to the field. Go, John, go! They're back there. They're sidetracked. Come on, goaties! Wow, we might actually be able to go spread this without the help of them. They haven't found us yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go, John, go! Head out to the field. Go sprinkle it in the grass. Okay, grab a chunk and toss it out. them out here in the grass just because it's been so darn muddy in the pen even though they have their bathtub feeder you know and the bathtub feeder keeps them out of the mud I just do not want them to spill any in the mud and then try to pick it up so we're gonna feed them on the grass I'm dragging you helping Our front field is next to a road that gets really busy different times of the day. The goats are only out here when we can watch them. We don't leave them out here when we're gone or if we're, you know, any other time. They're always when we can watch them. Feed the others. The diva is ready for her dinner. <laughs> She's, no, we're done with love. You just feed me my dinner. But you're so fluffy. Piggy. But you're so fluffy, Piggy. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Fluffy. Oh, what are you? Fluff. All right, we'll get your food. All right, John's going to break this flake up for Piglet and Nikki. They each get half of it. Are you going to make multiple trips? I'm going to go feed the pig first.
not cold enough for these two to get an entire flake at morning and nighttime. And they're quite fluffy as it is, so they get half a flake of hay in the morning and half a flake at night, making one whole flake between them during the day. <laughs> and both Nikki and Piglet are Nigerian dwarfs. They don't eat nearly as much as the bigger goats do. Now the big goats will come in here and they'll eat up these leftovers. How's that for a sunset? Are you done with being outside, huh? Are you done? <laughs> Dragon? You don't want to be out in the pasture anymore? Seriously. Hey, guys. They're all done. They ate up their hay. <laughs> they don't want to be out there anymore. Hi there, fuzzy face. Z, don't bite. Hey, fuzzy faces. <laughs> yeah, you're cute. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Henry's in the background banging on the anvil, doing something with some metal. Decided to pop into the greenhouse real quick. One last time today. These are bok choy. They're growing so, so well. Having an issue with what I think are aphids. I don't think they're a spider mite. I think that's an aphid. So I've got to make a plan to get after those nasty little boogers. And then over here, this is a lettuce. Right here, this guy's a lettuce. This is... A weed probably we'll see the mystery green is growing the celery is still growing this is one of the sorry I've got a few in here here's a lettuce that's growing look how pretty these guys are these are the bok choy again you can see the bugs gotta make a plan Tomorrow I'll come out and pull up the grass that's trying to take over my pots. I've been letting it grow for the rabbits. But time to get serious. Time to knock it out and get some more planting going on here in the greenhouse. Over here, this is one of the peas. These peas are a little bit smaller. One of our rabbits got out of her house and helped herself to some goodies. There's a pea right here. These... Or something. I think that's kale. Kind of looks like kale to me. It might be a Swiss chard, but I planted, so I planted peas in all of these. And then I went through and I was like, well, hey, I can plant some other stuff too. <laughs> so I kind of went crazy. There's another pea. These are green onions. This is green onion. The green onions grow really, really well all winter long, even though the rabbit had herself a blast eating the tops and then there's some peas hiding up there so here it is it's the third yeah third of january and we're, we're growing the only heat source is that light producing like electronic heat or you know using electricity and then i've got four rabbits in here in their own little cages so they're producing some body heat. And then these barrels are painted black. So they absorb, during the day, they absorb light from outside. And there's three barrels right there. And then that light is sitting on a barrel. So those barrels, two of them are full of water. And two of them are full of compost that's decomposing, creating its own heat. And then in the very back of the greenhouse, it's hard to see right now, there's actually a compost bin back there that's also putting off heat as the, everything breaks down inside of it. We even have, this is a stevia plant right here. I think this guy finally might have given up. It was an herb. 
I can't remember which herb that was. But the stevia is doing good. More green onions. That is half of a cabbage that the kids are experimenting with. Uh, there's a flower. We got a few things growing in here. Well, I think it's time to call it a day. Move inside. Cook some dinner for the family. It's dark out here, so time to move inside.